wonder where your money goes, a coffee here, a manicure there. It doesn't seem like much, but it can really add up. You'll be surprised at what your daily expenses are doing to your budget. It's enough to make me change my spending habits. Here's Brooke with a look. Money a little scarce this month? Well, I got news for you. It's not the sailboat you bought. It's your morning coffee that's put a hole in your pocket. Just ask any financial advisor. The reason a lot of people don't have a lot of money at the end of the month is the fritter factor, and that's when you spend little amounts of money on a lot of different things that add up. Laura Weeking gave me a list, the top 10 little expenses that really add up. Number one, coffee. It's, you know, going down and getting your $1.38 cup of black coffee, or if you're into the bells and whistles espresso, you're looking at over $4 a day. After a year, you've spent $360 for black coffee and $1,460 for the latte. Number two, cigarettes. Buy a pack a day, you'll spend just over $1,000 a year. Third expense is alcohol. Um, if you go out and, let's say, have two beers a day with tip, that's going to be about $5. So over the course of the year, uh, you're looking at over $3,600. And if you're looking at alcohol drinks, um, that's going to be double. Buy bottled water every day, and you'll spend almost $400 a year. The fifth item is going to be manicures. Uh, they're an average of $20.53 each. Go once a week, and you'll spend over $1,000 a year. Car washes are the sixth item on the list, and they're going to average detailing package is going to cost about $58, so if you're going twice a month, uh, that's going to be $348 a year. Going out to lunch is a huge expense. You're looking at about $9 for a good lunch out, um, and that's over $3,400 a year. So even though it's just a sandwich or just a piece of pizza, that's going to add up pretty fast. Same goes for the vending machine. Just a dollar a day during the week can set you back $260. With all this spending, number nine has to do with what you've already paid for, your gym membership. Don't use it and you'll waste $480 a year. And finally, overdraft fees are if you, you know, obviously overdraw your account and each instance is going to be, you know, $20 or more. So really just keeping an eye on your um, account is going to help you with that item, which can really spiral out of control and get you into kind of a, a bad spiral with your budget. All right, you ready for the grand total? All of those little expenses add up to a total of $10,000 spent by the end of the year. How to avoid this? create a budget because it's, it's perfectly okay to want to go out to lunch or get your nails done, but you need to account for the money. So what you might want to do is in your budget create a splurge column that comes after your bills and after your expenses and after your uh, savings account contributions. And then at the end of the week or the month when your splurge money has gone, you're done. Uh, the other things you can do are uh, balance it out. If you want to go out and get a manicure, then bring your lunch that week. Small changes for a big reward. For Better TV, I'm Brooke Carlson. Laura also suggests if you don't spend all of your splurge money at the end of the month, put it into a savings account and watch your money grow. Thanks for watching Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the television program Better every weekday. Check your local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city.